Mm. A few days ago I bought a Pick Kit 3 starter kit from DV164130 and it took quite a long time to work out how to use the wretched thing and maybe this video will help. Now you need to use some software to program the chip and that is um, MPLabX, the integrated development environment. And if you scroll down this page you get to downloads and if you're running Windows it's the first one on the list. I downloaded that earlier and did a default installation. Then you launch the IDE and here's one I launched earlier. And to set up the project you go to File New Project. And it's a microchip embedded standalone project. And the chip is a PIC16F 1829. Type it in. And there it is. Click Next. There's no debug header, so skip that one. Click Next. We're using the PIC Kit 3 programmer and we're using the MP Assam assembler. And I'm going to call this Lesson 2 because I'm going to steal the Lesson 2 example code downloaded with the starter kit. Let's set up a folder to save that. So I'm save it, saving it into my own folder and click finish. I'm going to get rid of the start page. I'm going to get rid of the MP Labex store. Now. I've also downloaded the example code. You can get it from my page or from the starter kit page. So on the starter kit page it's down the bottom along with a board schematic and a user guide. So I downloaded that earlier and I'm going to load some example code later. So we've got a new project, I've called it Lesson 2, and right now there's no source file, so I'm going to create one. I'm going to call it Lesson 2. And I've now got a blank program that does nothing. Now let's hunt the example code. I'm going to select all, copy. Here, select all, delete, and paste what I copied, and there is the Lesson 2 source code. Save that. Now on a good day we should be able to build the code, and the button with the hammer is build main project. There it goes, build successful. Now I want to power the project from the USB cable. And to do that you go into File, Project Properties, Pick Kit 3, go down to Power and check the Power Target Circuit from Pick Kit 3. OK that. So I'm powering the project from the Pick Kit programmer. That's fine if all you're doing is flashing an LED. Um, if you're driving motors or relays, then you definitely need a separate power supply. And this button, make and program device main project. And a few moments of suspense. It's erasing the chip. Programming download. It's quite slow the first time, much quicker on subsequent downloads. That's a warning that am I using the correct 5 volt voltage, so I'll OK that. 
it's erased the device and it's programmed it, it's verified it and the LED is flashing. So that's job done. Success. Mm.